Okay, hi there YouTube, and welcome to my second lesson about indirect proportion. In this video I'm going to cover about how a proportion can be squared, and, um, <coughs> well, square rooted as well. It's, it's quite, it's a similar concept, but I'll show you what I mean. Um, like the previous video, I'm going to use an example, and this example is going to involve a builder next to a classroom. And this builder is going to be, to start off, he's going to be one meter, one meter away. And he's going to be, when he's drilling, he's going to be creating a racket inside the room. And this is going to be measured in decibels. And I've still got the K here, because we're still using the K. And the distance here is going to be squared. And it's going to be squared because as you move something away, the 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 so, okay. So as the builder moves away, the sound is going to decrease squared. So what I mean by that is if he doubles the uh, doubles the distance which he is away, the sound is going to reduce by four times because it's two squared, which is four. But anyway, I'll show you, show you what I'll show you here. So, the distance is going to be squared before the value is here. So 2 squared is going to equal 4. So, <coughs> the decibels here is going to be 25. Right. So here's going to be my problem. The builder has moved 6 metres away from the classroom. And we're going to have to work out what the decibel is for the racket is creating in the classroom. So how loud is the builder going to be in the classroom when the builder is 6 metres away? So like the previous example, we, first of all we had to work out the K. And the K is always in directional, in indirectional proportion. It's these values multiplied. So 1 squared is 1, multiplied by 100, it's going to be 100. So k is 100. Now just check it. We've got the luxury of two examples. We can check it, check it again uh, to, to make sure we're right. So we've got 2 here, we've got 2 squared. So remember this, this is going to be 4. 4 times 25 is 100. Um, so this, this shows that k is 100, definitely. So we can begin to write this in our equation. So k divided by the distance squared is going to equal the decibels. This in brackets. So I can put these values in to make sure it works. So you get our k, which is 100, divided by our, let's do the two example actually, the second example, divided by 2 squared is going to equal 25. And that works, 100 divided by 4 is going to equal 25. Okay, so let's move on to our example, our problem now, actually, it's not an example, our problem where you have to work out the decibels when the builder is going to be 6 metres away. So first of all, we do 100 divided by our 6 squared. So 100 divided by 6 squared. Now we could easily do 100 divided by 36. You'll still get the same answer. So 100 divided by 36 is going to equal 2.7 recurring. So that 7 is going to continue going on forever. 2.7 recurring. So as you can see, because the value is squared, he is, the decibel has got 36 times smaller by being 6 times further away. Um, let's, try a, let's try another example. Hopefully you can work this out. Yeah. <coughs> I'll just quickly draw the headers in. K distance distance squared. 
So now, well, the K is going to be the same. We're just following down from the previous table. I haven't laid out properly. Let's get given the dec decibels and we can precisely work out how far it is away. So now if we rearrange the, the equation I'll just do it over here. So rem remember we have k divided by d squared equals decibels. So now we're going to swap these around. You who know your, know your algebra will confirm that we can k divided by decibels is going to equal d squared. So 100 divided by 50 is going to equal 2. However, it's going to equal the distance squared. However, we want the actual distance there. Because we want to find out how far away, not the square root of how far, not square root, the square of how far away is. Because it's d squared, we're going to have to square root it to get rid of this little 2 here. So the square root of 2 shall be quite a nasty number. It's going to equal 1.421 1 1, 1, uh, meters. Now that number just goes on forever. It's a very nasty number, the uh, square root of 2. But anyway, I just want to check that you understand how I got here. So you'll see from these examples here I worked out what the k was and then using that I just uh, replaced the letters here with actual values and then rearranged the equations so that the letter which I did not have was on its own and because it's on its own I can you can just use simple maths to work out what this value is and you have to be aware of uh, squares, you also have to be aware of square roots. Um, so if you're left with a, if we're left with d equals square root, we'd have to square root it. We'd have to square root it to remove that uh, square root here.